right? It's going to give you negative 3 all squared. But now you see that this matches up to what we have right there. So we can say now that the square root of negative 3 all squared is actually just equal to the absolute value of negative 3, which equals 3. All right. Let's try another one. Example 4. All right. Uh, this is going to be one that you're going to get to a little bit more often. When you have these multiple absolute value signs, just always simplify and use them just like you would brackets in bed mass. So that was kind of the note I'd made on a, a previous uh, page, I believe, up here. Where is it? Yeah, this part. Think of the absolute value signs as brackets, and then just follow your regular order of operations. So the absolute value of negative 26 plus 13, well, that just gives you the absolute value of negative 13. So we'll leave it like so minus 2, so leave that on the outside. We'll use the distributive property in a second with it. 10 minus 16, that should give you negative 6. Right? And now what we can do is we can apply our absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 13 is just 13, so I can remove the absolute value signs. Minus 2, the absolute value of negative 6 is just 6. Lastly, simplify, we have 13 minus, multiply those guys out, 12 is equal to 1. Not too tough. Not too tough at all. Um, that's really like as hard as it gets. One last example here. This one just has a little bit of substitution with the absolute value sign. So let's try this. Uh, the, obviously one I'd like you guys to try on your own. It shouldn't be too tough. Uh, if you take the absolute value of negative 2, we're substituting in a 2. Make sure you use brackets whenever you're substituting. That lets me, your teacher, know or anybody else that you have substituted. Now, simplifying, we have the absolute value, I always kind of deal with that last, simplify what's inside the brackets first. Negative 2, 2 squared is 4, minus 6, minus 4. This will give you negative 8, minus 6, minus 4. And then negative 6 minus 4 is negative 14, minus 4 more, we would have the absolute value of negative 18. Okay, ah, you see my absolute value signs are getting a little small, they're starting to look like a 1. Common mistake, all right? Uh, I'll also see students too, what they'll, they'll do is somewhere around either this step or this step, they might just neglect the absolute value signs altogether. So you might want to make note of that. Be careful. Lastly, the absolute value of negative 18 is just 18. All right. I believe one of the questions actually in your homework assignment is going to get you guys to think about uh, where else would absolute value make sense in, in the real world. One I've talked about is time and distance. Um, see if any others uh, make sense to you. All right. uh, that concludes this lesson.